morning and welcome to Dartmoor. Today I'm walking to what is believed to be the longest stone row in the world. So join me for a fantastic walk on Dartmoor. It's a nippy start to the day, but soon, soon the sun should be up soon across here. It's forecast for a beautiful sunny day, I hope. <laughs> Coming up, some blue sky above. So hopefully, it'll be a bit warmer soon. <laughs> Today, I'm walking the longest stone row in the world. Yep, here on Dartmoor. How cool is that? Uh, it's called Storden Stone Row. It's about 2.2 miles long, and I got a four and a half mile walk to get to it first. And uh, if I'm honest, I'm not sure if I'll actually complete it because on the second half of the row, there's a river crossing, and it depends on how safe it is to cross. So if I don't cross it today, I will come back another day and finish this video in two parts and uh, from a different direction and complete the second half but fingers crossed we'll finish it today and if we don't finish it it will still be a fantastic walk in the snow as well sunshine so the start of the stone row there is a stone circle at the southern end which is on Bledge Hill and it's also known the circle is also known as the dancer stone circle or kiss in the ring so we're gonna find that first of all and then walk the stone row Stodden Stone Row inside the Dancers Stone Circle or Kiss in the Ring Stone Circle and there's so many legends about this Stone Circle for example one legend is that there, there were dancers here dancing during a thunderstorm and they were hit by lightning and turned to stone hence the name Dancers Stone Circle 
So let's go. Let's walk the stone row. Wow, look at this red cairn. So I wonder who was buried there. What a face to be buried. This is interesting because I'm following the stone row, but I'm not going to use the map. And every so often the stones disappear. Here, look at these. They disappear. They're either buried under snow or overgrown around them. So imagine back in the day when they were used and uh, people never had maps that we have. How would they have managed when it was covered in snow? I mean, today's snowing, but uh, well, it's been snowing, but it's light compared to what it can be at times. It's a small stream across here. That should be no problem at all, I don't think. I hope. Okay, I've come off route a little bit here because I can't find any stones at the moment. Um, so I'm walking up parallel with the stream to see if I can find any on the way. Oh, here we are, here we are. Here we are, that's a bit of a path here as well. That's okay. We just path all the way, it'd be good. I think there's another burial just there. But there's also a sheep. He's just so cozy, curled up. So I don't want to disturb him. So I won't go down that way. Because he's probably curled up nice and warm. There's been no stones for a little while now and I'm heading exactly the same direction with the sun directly behind me so I'm hoping in a minute I'll see some more stones okay I come to the first river crossing across here it's not too bad actually I may get wet feet but I'm careful I should be okay and uh, but this side here it's looking awful. <laughs> but I've got to get across that way. It should be across there somewhere, the stone row. I can't see anything that's obvious. And oh look, there's, uh, this will be a, a compound. This will be, oh, what's it called? What's it called? Urn Pound. Urn Pound, that'll be. This will be a settlement here. I've been there before, on the other side. It's a cracking place. Absolute cracking place, that is. Right, let's get over here. Somehow. I had to give in. I checked my watch for GPS to make sure I was going the correct way. Because there's been no stones for a while, they're hidden underneath this. The snow, etc. And I just can't see where they are. Now thankfully, I'm going the correct way. So let's keep plodding on and hopefully soon I'll start seeing more of the stone row. Let's go. This is the river or stream I was worried about crossing. It was easy, no problem at all. So let's keep going. About a mile to go now. And I can now see all the stones again. Look at this. Almost at the end. And then it's time for a nice cuppa and something to eat. I might walk back again to that rock for a bit of shelter for the wind and have a nice cup of coffee. Yes. Here I am at the end of Stordon Stone Road, the northern terminal. The last of the stones were practically hidden amongst the snow, but it does end on Green Hill with this cairn, a burial 
and look at this look at this snow look at that how cool is that for the face to be buried look at that view wow what a walk what a fantastic walk but it should have been about six and a half miles to get here but it's taken over nine miles because I kept seeing things of interest I wanted to look at and uh, the best thing is I guess do it all over again now and head back again so here we go again So I'm going back to see where I came, but in a minute at the end of the stone row, I'm going to bear off to the right and take in another different stone row. And it's a very similar sounding name. This one's called Storden Stone Row. The next one is called Store Down Stone Row. Now it's nowhere near as long as this one, but it is an impressive row and worth a visit. I'm just thinking how lucky I am. So first of all, I don't get many days off in December because it's always busy with work. But to have a day off in sunshine and snow all the way and not see a single person for about 15 miles is a massive bonus on Dartmoor. That is incredible. So from Storden Stone Row, walking south for about a mile and a half and you come to Stone Down stone row and these are very impressive stones these are do you know as much as I enjoyed walking the longest stone row in the world it's not actually a patch on this one this is a cracking stone row to come to it's a stored down stone row cracker sunshine snow in December on Dartmoor absolutely fantastic it was a route planned for 12 and a half miles and it's become about 15 and a half by the time I finish that's a great day I hope you've enjoyed the journey this is Dartmoor runner signing off I'm Dartmoor have a great day bye bye <laughs>